So this is Tinta Marie Island. Um, it, we roughly had about one hour to explore the island, so you know we had to swim to shore from the boat, which was about a 20-minute swim. So right now I was actually kind of tired, but eventually I got there. Me and Jay got there, and it was we had a great time. Um, I'm just gonna give you a little history about Tinta Marie Island. Um, it's located four kilometers northeast of St. Martin. It's considered a part of the Lesser Antilles and is an extension of St. Martin. It's also known as a flat island and is a great snorkeling site for, you know, if you want to snorkel, especially turtles. I hear there is a great number of turtles in that area that you can actually see. Um, it's an uninhabited island, but in the past it was used as a French airline plane strip for small planes hence the abandoned strip on the island so there's a small abandoned strip in the middle of the island just a little bit past the the hills where i am right now if you go more central you you will see some you know old old like you know like an old strip and you'll see some airplane parts too you might see some debris so that's what that is So this is called Vital Island, I believe. It's just uh, uninhabited, but it has restaurants and I guess, I guess a beach area. Tuning in, thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for liking, subscribing, whatever you're doing, okay? Anyway, I'm coming at you today. Today's my fourth, is it fourth or fifth day? I think it's my fifth day. I don't I've even lost count. Oh, how many days? We are at a place called Pinair Island. Pinair, I, I mean, I know it rhymes with Chanel, so Chanel, Pinel, Pinel Island, that's what it is. And it's a nice little place. Seems to be, it's actually, from what I heard, it's, an, it's uh, uninhabited, but it only has like restaurants, so people just come up here for the day, uh, eat, chill by the water, as you see back there. Back there, I'm, I'm gonna probably walk around that way and get some footage that way too. I guess when the sun goes down, everybody leaves out. Everybody comes here by boat. You can't come here. I don't think you can come here because it's, it's it's actually in the middle of water, so you can only come here by boat, which is a pretty cool thing. But yeah, um, I'm gonna see if I can get some overhead pictures here. You wanna what? The shops. I ain't buying nothing though. I don't know why you want to see the shops, but let's see the shops, right? All right, here we go. These are the shops at P Pinel Island. Just little antique stores, I guess. Pick up stuff. Probably expensive as hell. I'm not even going to ask. Oh, look. There's a price for one there. How much that's it? Uh, it's a nice little thing, I guess, but $12. I think that's $12. I'm not sure. That, that looks like a euro sign to me. So I'm not sure how much that is in dollars. zoom in a little bit here so that you guys can see some more stuff look at this boy he walking here like he buying stuff <laughs> Pinel, Pinel Island here keep going Jay beautiful day beautiful day indeed uh-huh Okay, there's a little crab. <laughs> well, they do walk. Come on. I apologize for the shaky footage here. I'm not using my stabilizer, but we're doing the best we can. That's what matters. All right, come on, Jim. I'm gonna give you a walk through here through this little island. 315. Little 
little huts where people are eating. Restaurant right here. A lot of French speaking. I guess a lot of people here are from France on vacation. So we are at Pinair Island. I'm about to get some overhead shots of the island real quick. So just for you to get a better, better idea of how it looks. I'm on a little trail right now. I'm, I'm trying to go to like a upper point or center point of the island. That way I have an easier view. But we're literally there. So check it out. Day five, day five after the second boat cruise. Just came back, figured I'd come by Buccaneer Beach again like I did last, like I did yesterday, I guess. Pretty much chill and watch the sun go down. Look at that sun. The sun getting ready to go down in about 20, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna watch that real quick. As usual, day no over here somewhere. You don't want it? Aw. Alright, put him there, okay? He over here having a good old time by himself. He don't care. I'll give a three, 360 pan view right there. Look at your beach. St. Martin. Hell of a place. Very nice, low traffic beach. Uh, it's got a lot of restaurants on the other side, too. Right on that side, right there. That you can eat out on. But now, now let me warn you about the, the prices now. <laughs> uh, hold on. We'll talk about that in one second. What's up, man? What's up? How y'all doing? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching my channel. Thanks for watching my videos, man got anything to say any questions feel free to comment subscribe please or share I don't care you know so yeah I was about to talk about Buccaneer Beach right so yesterday when I came for my first boat right the food smelled real good so I said okay let me try that man I went and looked at the menu first thing I see you know burgers and fries are always like a must-have I guess uh, especially for me I mean so I said let me let me see how much that is man guess how much that costs a burger and fry, twenty dollars. I was like, "Wow, really?" They don't look that special to be that much. So I said, "Get it." I don't feel like just throwing money like that. So I said, "There are a lot of places to eat, man." So I told Jay, "Let's go get somewhere else," and that's it. But yeah, so just know that when you come to Buccaneer Beach, you can chill at the beach. But if you gotta eat, know you gonna spend some money. So I mean, that's just one. You know, so twenty dollars. So two people, me and him, and he's not even gonna finish his food. So that's forty dollars. If you got a family of about four, which is most consistent with most people, you're spending eighty, ninety dollars on burgers and fries. So yeah, that's a bit insane. <laughs> 
but hey, you know, it's a tourist spot. This is a tourist resort. Um, I believe the resort is actually on the, on that side. Let me let me show you guys real quick here. Okay, let me show y'all. That's a resort right there. Those buildings. You tilt up. Yeah. So I believe this is. Uh, it's called. Oh yeah, it's called Flamingo Bay Resort. Flamingo or Simpson Bay Pelican Resort or something. So there you have it. Nice resort though. If you, if you if you if you have the money for it, I'll definitely encourage you to do it. All right. So that's the end of day five. Um, I'm just waiting on the sun to go down here, which, which it actually is. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day. There's Jaden right there in the swim in the pool. Never gets tired of water. But yeah, um, so what do I have lined up? Today's Friday. Tomorrow I leave out of my Airbnb in St. Martin. And I, I'm gonna take the ferry. I'm gonna record it. I'm you know, I'll record the whole the whole process. Basically I'm taking the ferry from I don't know. It's close to the airport. That's where the ferry is. It's a public ferry. Twenty dollars to Anguilla. And then after that, I'm gonna go to. It's gonna. Okay, the ferry will drop us off at a place called Blowing Point, which is in Anguilla. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a cab or something to the airport. Um, and that's where I have my rental. My you know my rental car reserved. I always. Oh, by the way, I always have rentals whenever I go. It just helps me move around. I don't need no, no Uber. I don't want to know about no public transport. All I need is a rental and my phone. That's it, GPS. And um, yeah, so we're going to pick up the car tomorrow, go to Anguilla. We're going to be there for three days. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to go to a few beaches and then I'm going to go to one play place for him and see, uh, see how that turns out. All right. Until then, I guess I'll holler at y'all later, man. Let me know. Subscribe, comment, whatever, share. And interact with me, man. I mean, look, I make these videos not just to, you know, not just for myself, but for everybody, you know. For, for if you want to see something, ask something, whatever, feel free. It's not, it's not a crime. <laughs> All right, man. Peace. This is day six. We are leaving our Airbnb, St. Martin. I'm gonna keep this nice and high there. There you go. So we are on our way to Anguilla now for another, another, well, two days plus today. So that's three, I guess. Jay said three, I say two. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we are downtown. This is downtown. Just taking a few Come on, Jay, what's up? So yeah, it's been a hell of a day. It's like 90 degrees out here, so it's hot. Come on, come on, boy. It's nice and hot. Um, stay on your left. Yes, sir. Just want y'all to see downtown real quick. Uh, we will be on our way. I look crazy walking around like this, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm a tourist, right? Yeah, it's like 90 degrees. It's not that humid. It's not humid, which is a good thing because we will be dying. But, um, come on, Jay. Let's cross over this way. Come on. Get up. There you go. Man, this is not easy to video and walk and make sure he don't get hit because spaces here are so tight. Literally, I have nowhere to walk. All right. Come on. You all see him? He's right there. Say hi. <laughs> oh, there he is. All right, see y'all in Anguilla. Peace out.